Hello everyone, uh, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be playing a uh, blue and white deck, um, a control deck. Um, I really like my black and white control deck, but it doesn't have any counter spells. So uh, I've been trying to uh, get into uh, more counter spell style decks. Um, I know it's kind of it makes the game longer and kind of more boring actually to have a bunch of counter spells. It's really frustrating for the other person. So uh, we're going to try to do it. Um, I've not been very good with this style of deck in the past, but uh, recently I've been playing more and more of it, and uh, hopefully I can do okay. Now I've come up with a uh, blue and white. Um, I know some of the more popular decks are um, Esper, which is um, black, white, and blue, and Grixis, which is um, blue, red, and black. So uh, I'm doing this deck, um, just blue and white, to be kind of more rare. I, I like doing something a little bit different with my decks. Using a, some cards maybe some other people wouldn't use. Like um, Celestial Flare. I like this card. I'm going to use it, you know, and test it out. And we're going to see how it is. Even though some people don't think it's a great card, but I, I like it. So... Let's go through the deck here. We've got uh, three Blessed Alliance, three Celestial Flares, two Pull from Tomorrow for card advantage. Got to have this in there. Uh, one of the main ways a control deck wins is being able to uh, get ahead in the amount of cards you've got to uh, overwhelm your opponent towards the end of the game. We've got one Kefnet the Mindful um, as one of our win conditions in this deck. Don't have very many. Um, most control decks only have a few, maybe three or four win conditions. I think we've got just a few in this deck. We got two Scattered of the Winds, three Broken Concentration, three Spell Shrivel, one Gideon the Trials. Now, um, he's not one of the best Planeswalkers in Magic Duels, but he's cheap. And uh, I want to try him out a little bit more, give him more of a chance to uh, see how he does. He can be one of our win conditions in this deck if we can protect him with counter spells and stuff. So uh, we're going to give him a try. So uh, he's uh, win condition number two. We've got three cast out, three glimmer of genius for extra card advantage, um, one Gideon allies in the car, um, great planeswalker. He's our third win condition. Avison. Um, I really like Avison. Um, she's one of the reasons I'm playing blue, white, and not um, blue, black. I, I like Avison that much. She's a flash creature. Um, works really well in a counterspell deck. She's our third win condition. We've got Disciple the Ring. Um, this is a card that um, it's really good towards the end of the game. Like if you've played a dozen or so spells that are instants and sorceries this card at the end of the game is really good so uh, I believe this is our fourth win condition we've got confirmed suspicions again a counter spell that gives you uh, clues for card advantage really good two planar outbursts now we could use this awaken and get a uh, elemental land creature for our uh, I'm gonna call that another win condition We've got Jace. Now, in a deck like this, if you can get Jace down, you can get his ultimate and make that happen. You can uh, really put a stop on uh, what the opponent is doing uh, with the. Uh, whenever uh, an opponent casts his or her first spell, you start encounter that spell. This can be debilitating, and they usually give up when you ultimate this. Um, we've got Torrential Gear Hulk, of course, one of the uh, other finishers in this deck. Uh, a really great creature. Um, and we've got two Commit to Memories. I know a lot of people are just running one copy of this, but I like this, so I ran two. And uh, we're running 25 lands. We're running uh, seven plains, eight islands, two Prairie Stream, two Glacial Fortress, two Guy Reach Sanitarium, four Evolving Wilds. So that is the deck. Now, this is kind of a little bit different than a lot of control decks. Um, you know, a lot of control decks, you've got about... 80% of the cards are the same. You know, a lot of people have the same counter spells. They've got Torrential Gear Hulk. They've got um, Disciple the Ring. Um, not as many have Avison. I know not as many have Gideon. 
of the trials and definitely people are not running celestial flare I like it though we'll see how it does um, so let's try some games see if we can get a game here um, maybe we can Okay, hopefully we're getting a match. Now, like I said again, I am not an expert at this style of deck. Um, I usually prefer... Um, my favorite style of deck is that Mardu Planeswalker uh, slash Artifact Thropters deck that I'm running in the uh, Ammo Kit Tournament. That's my favorite style of deck. But I'm, I'm trying to like this deck, and I think I'm slowly getting there. So we're playing against somebody that's probably got white. They've got an Avacyn Avatar. So this is Dreek. Okay. And we've got a bunch of land. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. We'll put a plains down and then the two glacial fortresses will come down uh, not tapped. We don't have any counter spells though, so but we are one land away from uh planar outburst, so if they start doing a bunch of creatures, uh, we'll be ready for them. Celestial Flare works great on Ulamog and uh, other creatures that, uh, big creatures, little creatures, all creatures, Celestial Flare takes care of. Hexproof creatures. Okay, well, it looks like this is going to be a Planar Outburst uh, game, so uh, we'll keep on going. We've got Celestial Flare if they got some sort of haste creature. Some sort of artifact deck. Okay, they've got Copter. That will definitely die Celestial Flare. <clears throat> okay, Glacial Fortress. And uh, when they put their creature out, we'll make them sacrifice the Smuggler's Copter. They will get a um, chance to uh, draw and discard, which um, that's what we can do about that. Okay, I'll draw the Displacer. Okay, cruise up the copter. Okay, they're attacking. We're going to Celestial Flare them. He still gets to uh, draw and discard, though. Okay, Combustible Gear Hulk probably has some sort of. Uh, could he have that um, reanimation style deck using the uh, artifact, uh, bringing the artifacts out of the graveyard? Um, what is that white card that brings artifacts out of the graveyard? I cannot think of the name of it. Refurbish? Is that it? Maybe. I think it's four mana, so if he's got that, um, okay, Fleetwheel Cruiser, that's not good. Nothing we can do about that. Okay. Kefnet and pull from tomorrow. I don't think Kefnet's going to help us. I don't think pull from tomorrow is going to help us. Um, Celestial Flare will help us. And Blessed Alliance will definitely help us. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, what else does he have? So you have a creature to crew up uh, the uh, Fleetwood Cruiser? No. Okay. Okay, we're definitely going to bless the lines this. Okay, we're going to gain four life. He's going to sacrifice his creature. Okay, doesn't have to sacrifice the creature because of the Eldrazi Displacer. How do we want to do this? Um, let's see. We're either going to cast out a Celestial Flare, and we can actually do both. So it might be better just to cast, it, cast out this Eldrazi Displacer now so that it doesn't cause any more trouble for us. I think that's a good plan. Then we can Celestial Flare or whatever he uh, does and get that Fleet Wheel Cruiser next. Could have played her outburst, I guess, there too. I haven't drawn any of our counter spells yet. Got like um, 10 or 11 counter spells in this deck and haven't drawn any in the first 14 cards. So, not sure what that's all about. Okay. We've got Speedway Fanatic. Okay, hopefully we can Celestial Flare Fleetwood Cruiser now. Okay, Celestial Flare that bad boy. Okay, that was good. Okay, we've got Commit. I don't think we're going to Planar Outburst just yet. We'll wait and see if he puts another creature out. Tethered Express. I think we're going to commit that because I don't feel like taking any more damage right now. Okay, so far everything's working out okay. Wish we were a step or two ahead, but um, not much we can do. Do we plan our outburst now? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got two of them. I'm going to go ahead and plan our outburst. Even though it's one creature, we still get rid of it. But then we can't counterspell something. But we've got another planner outburst, so. Okay. No, let's just let's hold off on Planar Outburst. I don't know if it's the right choice or not. We can Glimmer of Genius. I just hate to Planar Outburst one creature. If we get one more land, we can awaken it, and it'll be worth it.
Okay, Sky Sovereign. Can't crew that up. Can't give it haste. So we'll go ahead and Glimmer. Um, there's Gideon. And I guess we'll take this other land, too. Okay, cast out. Let's see how we want to do this. Let's play this, get a blue. Let's see, planter outburst. Um, cast out Sky Sovereign. Casting out Sky Sovereign is probably our best plan. And we have not drawn a counterspell yet, so this is kind of weird. Not sure where all our counterspells are, but uh, okay. Okay, there's the Untethered Express again. Okay. I guess we go ahead and planar outburst and awaken it. And uh, I think we'll hold back a blocker in case he's got some way to uh, crew up the untethered express. Aether Storm Rock. Yeah, not drawing any of our counter spells is kind of uh, put a stopper on us this time. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and block that. I don't need to take any more damage. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do the second planar outburst and awaken it. Broken concentration, but I think planar outburst is the best way to go. Not enough to do Gideon, so we might as well awaken it. And I guess he's got um, <coughs> land to crew up uh, Untethered Express if he knows to do that. He's got us anyway. Yeah, he just did, didn't draw any of our counter spells, so that was kind of strange. So,
Okay. Let's try another battle. Let's see who can get this time. Waiting for players, okay. Okay, they've got Imrakul. Reminds me of a plate of spaghetti or something. Or a big mushroom with the um, roots on it. Okay, what do we got here? I guess we'll keep this. This is uh, Hat Susino Alpha. We'll go ahead and get a blue, I guess. going first. Maybe I should have gotten the white first with the Evolving Wild so we could play Celestial Flare on turn two. But I've already done what I've done, so. Okay, he's got a red. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play a white and see what he does on whether I put down the um, evolving wilds and get a second blue or if I put the second white on the... okay walking ballista for one okay that's not that bad yet probably go ahead and put the blue down Get a blue with our evolving wilds here. Okay, so we've got planar outburst uh, available on turn five. Okay, that's great. So if it puts more creatures out. Okay, what else does he have? Anything? Another creature. Okay. Well, at this point, I say we put Gideon down. He didn't get he didn't get his land drop. So um, we'll go ahead and make a night token. Okay, reality hemorrhage. Okay, gets rid of our uh, creature. That's fine. Use that on that to the bus. Okay, he doesn't have anything. He's probably mana screwed. That's fine. Okay, let's try another game. Here we go, playing our blue black counterspell deck. We got some different cards in here. Okay, we got somebody that um, we don't know what they've got because they haven't changed their background and avatar. So, okay. Blazing. Okay. We've got a bunch of land and a scatter to the winds. Tempted to keep it, but um, we will probably get flooded out if we keep this. But I'm gonna keep it anyway just to try it. Let's thin our deck out a little bit. Now, the chances of us drawing more land are pretty, ba pretty bad that we won't, but we'll see. black okay of course we're gonna start drawing a bunch of lands because we already had a bunch of lands 
That's how it usually goes. At least we're going to make all our land drops. Okay. Blue, black. Maybe this is a control deck. That would be good. That way we've got all our lands out. And uh, he won't play anything and we can just get our lands out real quick. Okay. Blue, black. got a cast out or and scattered the winds ready in case he can play something okay whoever blinks first usually loses these type of matches so let's see what he's got He's got Grixis, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, okay. <clears throat> we'll get eight up, we can try getting Avison. Westville Abbey. Kinda strange for control deck, if that's what he's got, but maybe he's just waiting to see what we've got, trying to play around uh, our spells. Um, do we try Kefnet? Kefnet? Maybe. Do we have enough? We've got enough to counter a counter spell. So let's try Kefnet. Okay, Kefnet comes down. That's good. No counter spell. Makes a token. Okay. That's fine and dandy. We've got cast out ready for Umdahl if he plays that. Gonna scare to the winds at. And drop your spy network. Okay. We can cast that out. Let's see here. Cannot attack. Who's Kefnet? We've got to draw. Okay. We'll just draw two cards next time, if he doesn't do anything. We could draw two cards right now. Have Kefnet block, but I don't think we will. See if he's got a counter spell. He probably does. No. Okay. Let's just attack with Avison. See if he's got anything. We definitely got the cast out for Lumdahl, so let's hope he does that. That would be the perfect way to uh, end this game. Okay, let's go ahead and play an island. Might as well block with Edison, right?
Let's awaken one of these islands with planar outburst. I guess at this point, Kefna is just going to be an extra card drawer. can use Glimmer of Genius on his turn, I guess. And I've gotten kind of flooded out with land, haven't I? Top your spine over perk is fine. We'll just keep drawing cards with Kefnet, I guess. Gonna do anything. We're gonna make him think we got a counter spell. Let's go ahead and glimmer. Okay, we'll take torrential, torrential gear hold. Let's see, if we draw a card, we can um, attack with the Kefnet. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and play this and get some more land out of our deck because we are just flooded out with land. Okay, he makes it a little token creature, that's fine. Okay, I've got one counter spell in the graveyard. That's good. Unlicensed disintegration is not going to do anything for him. Okay. That's not going to kill him. This is indestructible, so that's fine. I guess we could Blessed Alliance. No, let's not do anything. We'll just attack with Kefnet this next turn. Okay. So it looks like Kefnet won it for us this time. That's good. <laughs> 